Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have my March to Stashify makes and my fabrics that I'll be making up for next month. <laughs> So the Destashify video basically. If you are new, not familiar with Destashify, Destashify is an online website that allows you to um, buy and sell fabric, patterns, um, yarn, things like that. Crafting, sewing related, knitting, that sort of thing related. It's fantastic. You can also, um, if you just want to get rid of things instead of taking them to Goodwill, um, she will send you a, um, Carrie will send you a, um, envelope that's prepaid where you can send off your stuff to her and she'll put it in the shop for thrift store prices so it's a way to get rid of things knowing that it's going to go to someone that actually you know wants it as opposed to when you send things off to some thrift stores you never know if it's just going to get trash or if someone you know might actually find it which is very exciting for those of us that are searching for those things but it's also a fantastic place to find some really beautiful fabrics things that just aren't working in other people's stashes it's just I'm really enjoying it. And I highly suggest that you follow Destashify on Instagram because she shows, you know, when things pop up, like she had a couple of silks that just popped into the store. She'll highlight things that are brand new on the site. Oh, it, I mean, it's, I mean, buyer beware because, <laughs> not buyer beware, but I mean, it's enabling to the nth degree. Like it's, it's, it's addictive. <laughs> Things are often in finite uh, measurements, although some people I've noticed, um, you know, maybe they have a bolt of fabric or whatever and they'll sell in yardage so you can just buy, you know, a couple of yards or whatever of something. Uh, most of the things though I've seen are, you know, it's for the piece. So um, anyway, it's just a whole lot of fun. Now, in to be fully transparent, I'm an ambassador for Destashify, which means I do get a credit each month that allows me um, to spend it on things in the shop and um, show you guys what I make up with it and, you know, new things that I've grabbed, but I have not once stayed within my credits. <laughs> I pretty much always go over, even just a little bit, um, and shipping is really reasonable as well. So, I am at some point going to actually sell, destash some of my things. Um, I think I'm hiring my daughter this summer to do some of that kind of stuff for me, take the pictures and get them uploaded and do all that. And I will do a video when I set up my shop um, on how I do that. Cause I, yeah, we'll just all figure this out together. But anyway, that will be coming probably this summer. Okay, let's dig in. I've made two things this month. Now I had three fabrics that I grabbed last month, one of which was just a really beautiful silk gazar. Um, I think I'm saying that word right, but it's it's gorgeous. And I said that that was gonna be going into my stash. I'm not sure what I wanted to use it for, but I just couldn't leave it. <laughs> I have to take it. Um, so I have two items to show you that I've made up with my other two fabrics though today. And then I have two new fabrics to share with you, which is very exciting. Okay. So I'll put Lena up here in a second to hang this top on, but the other thing I made are pants and I can't put that on Lena, so we'll just bring Lena in in a minute. So the first thing I had grabbed, oh God, I think it was like a yard and a half of Silk Creek de Sheen and this beautiful orange color, which is totally one of my colors. And um, I mean, I just immediately grabbed it. I also got bright orange Silk Creep de Chine in January and then I made it up in February as a button up shirt and oh my god. It's just such a great place to find really nice fabrics um, for reasonable prices. So, um, and I'll probably be selling some really nice stuff that I'm just not gonna get to um, as well. So, you know, but I bought this and it was plenty to make. Um, I had purchased, let's see, the Pattern Emporium, she had released two patterns together a little while ago. It was a pair of Palazzo pants and then the low-key cami. And I grabbed it just because I'm always on the lookout for like the perfect cami. I've come close, but I love that there were three neckline options on this pattern. There was like a straight across squared neckline kind of, a V-neck and then a scoop neck. Um, and it had the option, a couple of different strap options for like ties or adjustable straps or um, thick straps. And you could do a thinner strap or a wider strap. And I... I mean, wearing a bra, I just don't do strapless bras. So I had to have something that was gonna cover bra straps. So I went with the wider straps. I chose the um, scoop neck version um, with the, obviously the wider straps that, mo my clothes in my closet hang on uh, the velvet hangers. So I won't have this issue in my closet, but the hangers down here are wood. <laughs> So anyway, I made up the size 12 and she does not have full bust options. So I did go ahead and um, do a full bust adjustment. I added 
Oh, geez. Um, and she has two fronts. She has a regular front and then a darted front, and it, very good instructions on what which one you should use depending on your upper bust to full bust difference. Um, I may have been able to get away without doing a full bust adjustment, but I, I mean, I just, I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> so I picked the size 12 based on my upper bust measurement. So she has that listed. Um, and my upper bust measurement is a 36. And I think a 12 is like from a 35 to a 36 and a half or something like that, upper bust measurement, something like that. And um, so I went with the 12 and then I did add two inches total across the front. So I did a one inch full bust adjustment on each side. And I mean, it's got a little kick. It just feels like liquid on my body. I mean, it's a cami. There's nothing real like flashy about it. It does, um, but I think it fits really well and it covers my bra really well. I think I will wear this as a layering piece a ton this spring and summer. I mean, even the winter, it's a cami. But um, again, I used the darted front. I took an inch off the length because um, I, I didn't want it too long because I'm short in the torso and I'd done the full bust adjustment. Okay, then it's got facings, which normally I'm not a big fan of, but I think this works fine because I don't know how you, unless you lined it, how you would finish it off otherwise. But for my facing, because I didn't want any surging popping through to the other side, I did the clean finish with the interfacing, which is where you sew your interfacing and your facing together, right sides together. So the, for fusibles, it would be the non-fusible side to the right side of the fabric and you sew all the way around the hem at like a quarter of an inch understitch it and then when you turn that interfacing to the wrong side then you press and fuse it you have to be it's a little fiddly you have to really go slow to make sure you know because the minute your iron touches it it fuses it but it makes such a clean finish um and it, it, yeah makes it like seamless and then i did tack my um facings down at the underarm seam. I did surge my side seams. Um, the seam allowances on this are just three eighths of an inch, so I couldn't really do French seams. I mean, I could have added more seam allowance, um, but I didn't, so. <laughs> it would have been easy to do. I could have added an extra quarter inch on the sides and then done a French seam, but I didn't. So um, yeah, everything is understitched, my facings under the arms, and then um, I just put the fixed, um, straps in and then adjusted, tried it on and adjusted until I had it right where I wanted it, um, where the bust darts were sitting in the correct place and the armholes were sitting in the correct place and then sewed everything down. And it worked really well. Everything's all nice and ensconced. Um, did a nice little narrow hem on the bottom, which I think turned out lovely. I mean, it's a silk crepe de chine camisole. Like you really, how does one go wrong with that? So a very simple make, but that's the beauty of Destashify, especially as much as I harp on about having my colors done, but it just really helps because I don't get sidetracked with any other colors of silk that might catch my eye. You know, it's not, you're not just looking for silk, for instance, um, or whatever fiber. Um, I can also look like, okay, that's one of my colors. And then when I see it's also silk, I'm like, oh, I've got to get that one. So, because that was the thing. The two silks she posted on Instagram, uh, like yesterday or the day before, were gorgeous. They were both prints, beautiful, but neither of them were in my color palette. So old Whitney, before having our colors done, would have 100% gone in and bought those. But because I knew that they weren't in my color palette, I did not go and buy those. They were technically in my daughter's color palette, but she doesn't really need silk, so. <laughs> At least not a lot of silk. So yeah, we left that, left that there for someone else to grab. But yeah, loving the cami. Okay, I'm going to set Lena up and put the cami on Lena so you can see it on the body um, or just kind of hanging there and then I'm going to show you the second thing I made. Okay, so the second piece of fabric I grabbed was this gorgeous um, uh, cotton twill and this beautiful like camel color but like my camel, like the really warm mustardy ochre camel. <laughs> And I knew I wanted to make a pair of upland trousers out of it, which is what I've done. This is the itch to stitch upland trousers. I love, this is probably my favorite trouser pattern. I love this pattern. <laughs> and I have filmed a sew along as I was making these. These are the full length pants. I did the whole full length on these, but I think I have enough of this fabric. If I wanted to do also a pair of shorts, um, I could definitely do that. I may wait, cause maybe I want to try a different pattern. Although why, if it's not broke, why fix it? Um, oh my gosh, I 
love these so much. I made them long. I didn't take any length off the legs because I wanted um, to be able to wear a little bit of a heel. I love my little um, off-white kind of booties that I got from Target last spring. I think they look really cute with it. These will probably shrink a little bit when they get washed. Um, hopefully not too much. But if I can wear just a, I say a heel, but a little bit of a heel or like a platform or something, I'm going to get a ton of wear out of these. I, oh, I needed some more khaki pants. My Chai Town chinos, while they still fit, um, they're just looking a little tight. They're, I'm gonna put them away for right now. I'm not gonna get rid of them, but I am gonna put them away for right now. Um, and these are gonna be my khaki pants for right now. I just love the silhouette. They sit at my natural waist. I feel like they make my legs look long because the wide, the wider leg elongates my legs. My legs are longer proportionally on my body. And then you put a pointed toe like on there and I think I can, I get away with a lot. So, um, yeah, I've done a full sew along. There'll be so much information on this. Um, let's see, Sunday, you're gonna see a different, t a tutorial on stripe matching, which is a fabric I've grabbed. Um, and then the following week, we'll start this sew along, and it is four weeks long, so. Very exciting, but yes, these are the Upland trousers. But yeah, I think I have enough of this fabric to do a pair of shorts. So I'm just gonna hang on to it for now. I'm not really in the mood for making shorts quite yet because um, I can't wear them for a little bit. But these are the size eight, um, which is the size I make an itch to stitch. They fit great. Um, let's see, I omitted the front darts, so I did elongate the um, waistband facing so that because I omitted the, there's seven eighths of an inch uh, darts on the front, um, but I carry weight there, so I just omitted them and I think that works great. <laughs> and, um, yeah, that's the only adjustment. I did a little scoop in the back to get rid of any um, wedgie that I get, but that's that's it. That's the only adjustments I make to this pattern. It's so good. I, I love this pattern a lot. <laughs> so there you have it. Those are my makes for March. And I have two fabrics now that I grabbed from um, to stash a fight earlier in the month that I am really itching to sew up, but I didn't want to cut into them until I'd shown them to you and I needed to finish making these before I did that. So, you know, okay. So the first thing I grabbed, oh, did you see that? Look at that. Okay. This is a cotton interlock, maybe an organic one. It, so it's almost like a cotton ponty almost. It's a thicker cotton Jersey, but it's got great recovery. It is like this periwinkle, maybe a little bit purple and white stripe, which is the colors. This one grabbed my eye because I knew what my spring color palette was gonna be. And this pale purple is on my color palette, but I'm using this for spring with kind of a spring green and red and then this khaki color and a little navy and cream. So um, I had seen a dress, it was in my 10 ready to wear um, items and then where I paired with patterns and it was a J. Crew dress that was big pink and white stripes totally gonna recreate that look with this fabric so I will pop a picture of that look here it's a very simple dress like a t-shirt dress but I love that it's midi and it's a little bit flared and I I think I have I'm not sure exactly how much I have here this cotton it just feels so beautiful it's a cotton jersey um, one two okay I mean, maybe a little over three yards, um, which I think I might be able to get the um, Pattern Emporium Wanderlust dress out of this. I have made that pattern before, love it, but it's in kind of autumnal, a little bit more autumnal colors. Um, I wore it so much this fall, but um, it's got a three quarter length sleeve. I love the scoop neck, although that dress does come with different neck options, but I'm gonna do that pattern in a short sleeve this time, scoop neck, and this for um, spring and summer. And I'm gonna see how long I can get it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it quite as long of a midi as my other Wanderlust. Um, I had four yards of fabric, I feel like, maybe not. I can't really remember, but <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do the, the stripes horizontally um, just because that's the inspiration dress and that's, uh, I don't know, it just really drew me. So we're gonna do that and um, I'm gonna use this fabric and I'm gonna show you how I cut out and do my stripe matching with this. So um, that will be Sunday's tutorial. So this will be made up before Sunday. So I've got, got my work cut out for me, but I, I just, it was perfect. This fabric was perfect. And again, it's just a beautiful quality. So that is fabric one that's gonna be a Wanderlust. It's already been washed, ready to go. Then the second fabric, I, um, again, I was looking at colors in my, um, for the my spring 
color palette, my spring wardrobe, basically. But I came across this. Um, it's a athletic nylon spandex crepe. Is that what she calls it? And um, this is from Destashify. Both of these came from Destashify. I don't know if they were from her personal stash or if this was stuff that was given to her that she's then, you know, selling at the thrift store prices. But she does have quite a bit of this um, nylon, I think it's a nylon spandex. It's, it has stretch to it. Um, crate. And I was just really interested as to what that was. I just didn't know what that was. And so she had this red and it was called, oh, it was, it was a color that I knew would be a warmer red. And this is, it's like a brick red. But I can't remember what the color um, name said. Um, she has a really good job though of capturing colors when, when it's stuff that she has posted, you know, obviously other sellers can post things and their pictures can be whatever. But this is the coolest stuff. So it is definitely, um, I would call it like active wear fabric. It has quite a bit of stretch, but it's a stretch woven. And um, because of the nylon on it, I don't know. I just thought this would be so cool for um, golfing. So my family, we all golf, but um, I got new golf clubs last summer, beginning last spring maybe. So before then, I can't remember. But um, my kids are getting old enough now, they just love going out there and golfing with us. And I wanna make myself a either a pair of golf shorts or a skirt. I would really like to make the Green Style Creations Pace Skirt, and I own that already. I just think the pleats on it are adorable. My friend Marissa's made one before, and I think she used a stretch woven for the bottom of that. I need to look at the pattern closer though and see if a stretch woven will work. If it has enough stretch, it should. And because it's a pull-on, but because I have enough I have a very small hip to waist ratio. Usually I can get away with getting, because I can slide things up easily <laughs> um, over my hip, hips and butt to fit my waist. Um, I'm sure that the little, there's like shorts that aren't, because it's a skirt. So the little shorts under it, I'll probably just use like a swimsuit knit or an athletic knit that I've got in my stash. Um, it's actual knit, you know, that'll fit like a bike short kind of underneath it. But I think I'm going to use this for the skirt. And if it doesn't work, then I will make myself a um, pair of shorts, I think, but for golfing. Isn't that cool? And again, it comes in, a, in different colors. So I grabbed this one. This one was just a set um, yardage. I actually might have enough for both. This was a set yardage, and um, but some of the other colors she's got, you can order by a yardage. So she has just a ton of it. Um which is really cool. So my son was asking for um, some, he was wanting some shorts for this summer that were athletic style, but maybe in fancier fabrics so he could get away with wearing them with like um, button up shirts and stuff like that when we go out for dinner or going to church or whatever. So basically he wants all pull on pants with elastic <laughs> that are comfortable. Um, which is so funny because it's not like waistbands dig into him. He literally has a 27 inch waist. We measured it just the other day. He's <laughs> very slim, but he just really likes to be able to move. And, uh, but he said, he's like, I think I want you to make me some button up shirts, but I, you know, want some nicer fabrics, um, and like sweatpants, but in nicer fabrics. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> So I told him, I'm like, well, go feel what I've got at home. And if you like it, I'll grab you some of the other colors and maybe we can make him some shorts. So anyway, there you have it. So this is going to be, um, unless he steals some of it. Although I think I've got quite a bit of this. It's over. I might be able to get myself a skort and a pair of shorts for him if he decides he likes the red. Yeah, I have a little over two yards here. And usually I can get like a pair of shorts for me out of a yard, and probably him too. And I think if I smush stuff together just so, I think I could probably make it work. Especially because with the skirt, I would be doing the little shorts underneath it in a different fabric. Um, I think I might be able to make it work if he decides he wants the red. Otherwise, I might order him some of the other colors. So, to play around with that. So there you have it, guys. Those are the two things that I've made with my Distashify. Um, fabrics and then two plans for next month. So I'm very excited to see, um, to get on in April and see what I can find. I just think this is so much fun. <laughs> and maybe I'll find some stuff for my kids this time. So actually, um, I think my son is gonna be on the channel, I think on Tuesday. Um, he'll be on the channel at some point here 
soon because I'm doing a pattern test with him, which is exciting. But yeah, he'll be on the on the channel um, here soon. So with uh, something else that I've made him. So very exciting and something to look forward to. Um, Friday will be my so frugal entry um, that actually the if you're doing the so frugal 22 um, challenge that actually needs to go up on Instagram on Thursday but I thought I would share what I made I mean mine will be up on Thursday but I thought I would go ahead and talk through what I made on Friday so that will be Friday's video and then I think next Tuesday is going to be my son but um we'll see we'll see how that all plays out I'm still waiting to get for sure dates on things um and then Sunday will be the tutorial of strap stripe matching um yeah so that's what we've got going on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I've got a lot of fun stuff planned for this month or planned for April um, going forward. And um, and I've been sewing up a storm. I mean, you can see my racks filling up with my spring makes. So that will be, some of those will be coming at you here really soon as well. Okay, that's all I got for today. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Hope you can get some sewing in and I will see you next time. Bye.